everyone welcome to another interesting lesson in this video we want to solve for 9 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to 10 we are asked to find the value of x what is x so let's get on to the solution So we are in this question, in this question we will find all the value of x that satisfy this equation. So press this in base 3. We put everything into base 3. So we have our question 9 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to 10. So first thing, we simplify this and we have 3 to the power of 2 into brackets to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to 10. Then considering the fact that if we have a base a to the power of n and uh, into brackets to the power of n. So this can be equal to base a to the power of n then bracket to the power of m so we use this to we apply this to this part of the expression so this become 3 to the power of x into bracket to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to 10 now we need to make the exponential expression in a more simpler form so we let y to be equal to x 3 to the power of x we let y to be equal to 3 to the power of x so that implies that if we have 3 to the power of minus x this expression can be expressed as 1 over 3 to the power of x considering the identity which implies if we have a base a to the power of minus 1 the resulting answer is given by 1 over a this is an identity of an exponent so we put this in this form so and we already have y to be equal to 3 to the power of x 3x 3 to the power of minus x can now be written as equal to 1 over y then the old expression can now be transformed into y y squared plus 1 over y equal to 10 so from here we do some manipulation we multiply both sides by y so we have y into brackets y squared plus 1 over y multiplied by y equal to 10y so this y we go with this our expression becomes y to the power of 3 plus 1 equal to 10y we can move this 10y to the left hand side then we have y to the power of 3 minus 10y plus 1 all equal to 0 so from this equation let's have this to be um, equation 2 over here let's have this to be equation 1 okay so from equation 2 what we need to do here in equation 2 is that we need to find the possible real value of y that will satisfy this equation y to the power of 3 minus 10 y plus 1 so we try small positive integer since y 
equal to 3 to the power of x is greater than 0. So we try small positive integer. So we now we let y to be equal to 1. So from our equation y to the power of 3 minus 10y plus 1 equal to 0. If we substitute 1 into this expression, so we have 1 minus 10 then plus 1. Everything will give us minus 8. Okay, we have a negative value. So let's try y equal to 2. So we also have the expression to become 8. If we substitute 2 over here, we have 8 minus 20 plus 1. And all this will be equal to minus 11. So we have another negative value. We have another negative value. So let's substitute 3. So if we substitute 3, the equation becomes 27 minus 30. 27 minus 30 plus 1 and this will give us minus 2 we have a negative value so if we substitute 4 now let's try the value of 4 y equal to 4 then we have that to become 64 minus 40 plus 1 so if we simplify this we have 25 so we now have a positive value so we see that the sign changes from y equal to 3 to y equal to 4 y equal to 3 as negative value to y equal to 4 as positive value so it means the real root of this equation lies between y equal to 3 y equal to 3 and then y equal to 4 so our value lie in between this so now let's estimate it more closely so we narrow down the approximate rule this time around. So what we need to do, so we try y equal to 3.5. Now we'll be working between um, y equal to 3 and y equal to 4 this time around. So we narrow this down in between those two roots. So we have y equal to 3.1 so if we substitute that into y to the power of 3 minus 10y plus 1 so if we substitute that here we have that this so if we substitute y equal to 3.1 so we have that this is going to give us 29.791 minus 31 plus 1 and this will give us minus 0 0.209 so we have minus 0 0.209 so let's try y equal to 3.11 so if we do this as well we are going to have 30.09 minus 31.1 plus 1 and this will give us minus 0 0.01 likewise if we try 
if we try y equal to 3.12 over here we also have 3 30 points that is 30 points 6 30.36 minus 31.2 plus 1 and that will give us equal to 0 0.16 so we have a positive value here so the real root is now around is going to be around y approximately 3.108 so our y is going to be approximately around this value okay so after substituting 3.12 so if we now have the substitution for x say we have y equal to 3x from our previous expression then it means that that will be equal to 3.108 okay so from here this expression implies 3 to the power of x equal to 3.108 from here we can take log of this expression we have log 3 to the power of x equal to log 3.108 okay now we bring this x down to the base we have x log 3 equal to log 3.108 now we divide both sides by log 3 we have x will now be equal to log 3.108 over log 3 now we input this value from our calculator if we do we arrive at an approximate value of x from the numerator 0 0.493 over log 3 which is equal to 1 0 point which is equal to log 3 will now be equal to 0 0.477 this will now give us an approximate value of x which is equal to 0 which is equal to 1 point 034 okay now from this value of x from this approximate value of x we can now substitute that into our previous expression to verify the value okay if the left hand side would satisfy the right hand side if they will be equal to each other so we verify that verification So verifying this we have 9 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to 10 now at x equal to 1.034 so we substitute that we have this to be equal to 3 to the power of 2x then 3 to the power of minus x equal to 10 that is if we simplify this expression then we now substitute the value of x we have 3 to the power of 2 into bracket 1.034 plus 3 to the power of minus 1.034 equal to 10 so this value if we input this value from our calculator so we are going to arrive at 9.91 plus 
this as well we give us 0 0.107 would that be equal to the right hand the right hand side so if we had it together we have that our value will be 10.017 which is approximately 10 okay and that's satisfy that the right hand side is approximately equal to the left hand side thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please like the video subscribe and turn on notification bell and then share the video to your loved ones so meet in another interesting lesson bye for now